What's up guys? Back with another tutorial. This time we're doing a coin fly or coin teleportation, however you want to phrase it, with two coins. I'm going to be using these Chinese coins. You can see the symbols on them or whatever. They're a little bigger than a 50 cent coin. You can use whatever coin you work. I don't recommend going smaller than a quarter. You can still do it, but it is a little harder. I'll do the performance first, then we'll go into the tutorial. I have two coins. I can show them, I can pass them out, whatever. I can show they're regular, nothing really fishy about either one. I can take one of them. I can throw up in the air, turn it visible, and I can catch it over here and I have both coins. And again, these are fully examinable, can be borrowed coins, whatever. Let's get into the tutorial of this. So, usually what I do is I place the coin that's gonna be my dominant hand first and I'm gonna turn it sideways. So I'm holding it between my pointer finger, my middle finger, and my thumb. And I tap the other one twice. You can do more, you can do a few taps, whatever you prefer, you can only do once. I usually just do two, just my personal preference. From there, you're gonna, with your ring finger and your pinky, you're gonna come down and pinch that coin. So it's like that. So I'm holding it here, and then you can come around and pinch it. So you're holding it between your fingers there. After the tap, so I, I do the tap, and then I move. So this coin is held between those fingers. And then in this motion, I don't want to flash the coin in the back. So I don't want to like do it and then turn my hand over. It's supposed to be a hidden motion. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to come over this one and I'm going to tap that part sticking up twice. But I'm going to hide that. I don't want that to show. So I tap it, go over. As I'm doing that, I'm going to leave this coin on top of it, but I'm going to pretend like I'm taking it. So that way it looks like I left the coin in my right hand and I have a coin in my left hand, but I don't actually have anything in this left hand. So this coin is on top of that one that's held sideways. Then in this motion, I'm gonna to pretend to throw up the coin, even though I don't actually have anything here. And in this hand, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these fingers as I lower my hand and then close my hand to catch the coin like that. It's a little hard to do slow. So I'm gonna break it up into steps and give an ulterior way you can do it. So after you do this, pretend to take it, throw up and again, I'm going to open these fingers, lower my hand, and close my fingers, and then close my hand really quickly, and it's going to catch the coin like that. If you're struggling with that, you can do a little toss up too, so I can go up, open my fingers, down, and then close my hand like, like that. It gives you a little bit more timing to get that catch of the coin in. You can kind of just toss them both up. I used to do it that way. I currently prefer that it just go down. I think it looks a little bit more visual in my perspective, like the coin's just appearing in your hand and you can the, there's the auditorial reveal, reveal as well where you can hear it and hear them clink together but again going upwards there's no issue with that in practicing you're going to have this a lot where you try to do it and it doesn't work or you drop it and it looks like you just have the one the other felt just going to have to keep practicing until you get past that or whatever and get the catch. and then can catch them together and that's pretty much it Comment down below what you guys think of this trick. Let me know what other types of content you'd like to see. And yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And hasta la fuego, Diego.